Hello again, interwebs. Welcome back. Hope your uh, Monday is going well. My name's Tethys, and today we're playing Stardew Valley. Ooh. See this cat here? Oh. Found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray poor little thing. It likes this place. Don't you think farm could use a good cat? I will adopt this kitty. Um... What should I name the kitty? Um, let's just name it Puffball. <laughs> I don't know exactly what um what to do with the cat. Like what exactly it does aside from just be here. Um, as you can see, I went and uh, did a little bit of uh, just some gathering and whatnot. Nothing too exciting. Uh, the last couple days, just so that I had a bag and I uh, had a couple more plants going. I also went and just did some mining so I could get more copper, because I will need it for upgrading my tools. Uh, unfortunately, from what I can s recall, you can't upgrade your sword so much as you have to find a new one or buy a better one. So you can't quite make like a copper sword or something like that. So yeah, it's a little uh, tedious, but nothing we can't deal with. Okay. So, oh, that's done. It just requires a coal. Well, let's grab one. I'll just throw this with the rest in there. In the meantime, in between time, uh, let's look social here. Because I don't remember what any of these guys like. So let's just quickly look up one of them. Because I know what I, who I want to romance on here. Hmm... Okay. Perfect. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this, because this is apparently a universal-like. And... It worth fewer friendships than loved gifts. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, the sweet, the town hall. We can start working on gathering stuff for that. What an eyesore. Yeah, I will not disagree with you there, my friend. Pelican Town Community Center. Oh, Community Center, not Town Hall. Or what's left of it anyway. Used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Ooh, technology's bad. Her der. Listen to me. I sound like... Yeah, I... Yeah. Joja Corporation's been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and sell it. Let's go inside. What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. And we've got our little cutie friends!
the matter? Are you ill? No, I'm, I'm not. There was somebody here. You saw something. I wouldn't be surprised if this place is full of rats. There it is again! You're worrying me, Tethys. <laughs> I think I'm going to go head home. I need some lunch. I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. I promise I'm not crazy. Well, a little bit. A little bit. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. So the thing that we want to do, especially with... um. The random items that we find, ooh, perfect, a gold star daffodil, um, is with the foraging for the seasonal items. We want to come in here, I believe. No, I do not want to add, eat le daffodil. Oh, right, we can't read that yet. We have to go and talk to the, um, the wizard. Because we cannot understand the language that these little funny guys speak. But first, let's go give the person that I want to romance their gift. Boop. And yes, it's Alex. Looks like a good day to play catch. I'd ask you to throw the ball around, but you don't really seem like the sports type. I want to. I guess I underestimated you. My arm's a little sore, but maybe next time. As he begins to toss the football right afterwards. Not very good at lying, and people need to stop messaging me. Okay. So we'll hold on to this daffodil. Because we can go and use it for the uh, foraging. We've also got the dandelions. So we can chop that off the list. We need the daffodils, the leeks, the dandelions... And, no, that's not what I want. Uh, the wild horseradish. In order to do the first foraging uh, mission in the uh, community center. Now, where... How do I get to the wizard tower? I can't remember. I think it's down this way at the bottom, and I'm not going that way. And I'm definitely not hitting that with a pickaxe, because reasons. Okay, well, we'll deal with that later. Right now, inventory is empty. Good. Um... I think I will take the hoe. We're gonna go to the mine. I also did manage to get a little further. Only about five floors, though. Mainly because looking for those stairs is so taxing on energy, especially early on. But like I've said before, I feel that mining is really the best way to get money, unless you guys know a better way to do it, in which case please let me know so that... I'm not constantly going into the mine. Oh, wild horseradish. That's another one off our list. Now we just need a leak. And we also need to go and talk to the wizard, but that is later. Also, we will want to hold on to certain items that we find. Oh. No, 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 no. Those will turn into annoying flyers, and you can't um, break their shells once they go into their cocoon. So we just want to get them while they're vulnerable, because they really can't do anything otherwise. Perfect. Well, we're off to a good start. Oh, three copper veins. Ah! Crap. 
Come at me, bruh. Come at me. Come at me. You ain't got nothing. Nope. Oh, hello, stairwell. Can't argue with that, for sure. I'm okay with taking a little bit of damage here, as long as it means that this bugger doesn't turn in to a flyer. And we already have the stairwell, so we just need to grab all the copper. And then we are down to floor 17 already. And we might just hit floor 20, which I... No, floor 420. Floor 20. Um... Uh, hit floor 20, and then we should get a boot upgrade. Thankfully, the uh, little, uh, oh, topaz, or not topaz, is that? No, that's an earth stone. Um, thankfully, the these buzzers and their larva disappear after a certain number of floors. So we don't need to deal with them for too long. And there's the staircase. So we don't need to worry about wasting more energy on stones aside from any gathering that we find. And as far as I know, yeah, okay. Swinging your sword doesn't cost any energy. And if it does, it's very minimal. There, deal with that. Uh, nothing there? All right, on to floor 18. I got some larva. some slime, some copper, some coal, which is always welcome. We're just going to ignore the little larva and hopefully they don't turn into anything when I'm not dealing with them. Oh, found the staircase. Down we go. Don't even need to worry about it. I love the music in this game, it's so nice and just relaxing, especially in the mines. That's what I like about the mines the most, probably, is the music. It's very calming. Alright, now we do want to try and get to the center of this, because it hopefully has a bunch of crates for us to open, which can sometimes have nothing, can sometimes have a lot of good stuff in it, sometimes even weapons which would be extremely useful. We're not going to waste any time on stones right now until we know for certain that we need to go around and look for staircases. All right, break that and that. Geode, coal, wood, amethyst. Amethyst. Ooh, and a cherry bomb. That'll be extremely useful, especially for something like this. Uh, let's just use it right now, but first we're going to put it in a good place, like here. Yeah. And look at that! Staircase. And the 20th floor. And a steel small sword, we got a better sword. That's actually even better than I was hoping. And 
The best part about these things, and I didn't realize that until um, realize it until way later in my other playthrough, uh, you can use these for fishing, and they have fish that you can't typically get on the surface, so they're really good to um, keep in mind. I don't know why I even have that sword still in my inventory. Um, I'll end up going and selling. Excuse me, the uh, the sword. Not the new one, the old one, because uh, it's just not worth holding on to. And now we're just finding geodes, which is also awesome. And the staircase, down we go. Floor 25 would be awesome. Na -na. Nothing there. Earthstone again, which is awesome. Hello, larva. As you can see, it just... The new sword is just making a world of difference in terms of how fast it kills things. And that'll definitely be more apparent when we fight a slime. Some seeds. And uh, those wild seeds can be a variety of different things, so I don't want to start planting them until we have a sizable number. Oh, bad. Okay. Oh, we found the staircase. So we're just going to run around in here. Oop, topaz. And grab everything that we can. Let's see. Oh, journal updated. So that means that we got the number of slimes that was uh, requested of us. So we can join the Adventurers League. And... Oh! Okay, that's new. Or I've never seen that before, where they just, they mate and make a baby slime. I've never seen that before. That, is that new? I don't know, because, like, I, I've, again, I've never seen that happen before on any of my playthroughs. Uh, we don't want to chance it. Oh. Geode? Are there any more, you little buggers? Yes, there are. Nothing good from you. All right back to the surface we go because <clears throat> we also can't be here when it turns to morning otherwise it's i i think we lose items and we collapse from exhaustion And it means more money spent at the doctor, which we don't want to do. Get our boots back in here. Yeah, yeah, see what I mean, though? Thankfully, time pauses when we're doing this. Don't need the topaz. Get rid of that. Get rid of the fiber. Get rid of that. Slime. Uh, you use that for making a slime uh, incubator. But nothing else. There we go, just one amethyst. I don't want to hold on to the sap. The algae I will definitely hold on to. Uh, tomorrow, we can definitely get those geodes cracked. Uh, oh, right, I was going to sell that sword. Uh, amethyst... I think I can sell the sword, can't I? Nope, I guess I can't. I have to just get rid of it, which is not necessarily... Ugh, didn't want to hold on to it. Hello, kitty. I'm going to sleep for the night. Let's see how much we get from that. Uh, about... About 500. But, um, gonna have to end it there, guys, so thanks for watching. <laughs> if you liked what you saw, please leave a like, and also in the comment section, if there's any other games that you'd like to suggest for me to play while I'm doing this in Resident Evil, or maybe in a future playthrough once I finish Resident Evil, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. As always, like I said, 
like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. That means that we can go mining.